let's take a compl uh, complex of a locus problem and uh, if you see the question says that find locus of z uh, if z1 z2 are given complex numbers and uh, k belongs to r plus satisfying the condition mod z minus z1 plus mod z minus z2 is equal to k so you can see that mod z minus z1 as you know is represent the distance between the two points z and z1 and mod z minus z2 represent the distance between uh, z and z2 so some of the distance turns out to be a constant positive uh, real number which is k so we can analyze the situation in this way like you can see that uh, uh, in general if you take up locus point uh, p to be z and uh, two given points a and b to be z1 and z2 so you can see that the distance p a plus p b like this distance is p a and this is p b so p a plus p b like in this particular case you can see that p a plus p b is equal to the distance between a and b and if p is lying somewhere here then p a plus p b is definitely going to be more than a b okay so either p a plus p b is more than a b the distance between a and b z1 z2 or p a plus p b will be equal to the distance between z1 and z2 so we can definitely guarantee that this value k should b either equal to the distance between a and b that is mod z1 minus z2 or the quantity k should be more than the distance between a and b that is mod z1 minus z2 so for the first particular case that is k less than the distance between a and b so this situation will become an impossible situation so in this case we can say that no locus will be possible if k is less than mod z1 minus z2 but if k is equal to mod z1 minus z2 in that case you can see that the locus of p will be any point lying in between a and b because for any point lying in between a and b you can see that uh, every time for changing the location of p the sum of the distance p a plus p b is every time going to be equal to mod z1 minus z2 which is the distance between z1 and z2 okay so if k is equal to mod z1 minus z2 then we can say that the locus of p is going to be all the set of points between a and b line segment joining a and b and uh, if the value of k becomes uh, more than the distance between z1 and z2 that is mod z1 minus z2 in that case uh, the locus of p is going to be an ellipse because uh, as you know that uh, according to the property of ellipse the sum of the distance of any point on the ellipse from the two foci like a and b are considered to be the foci of the ellipse okay or the two focus of the ellipse and according to the ellipse geometrical property we know that the sum of the distance from the two focus of an ellipse is always constant so we can say that p a plus p b will be k some constant p dash a plus p dash b will be again that value k the constant and this will be true for all the points lying on that on this particular ellipse okay but for that you see that the value k must be more than the distance between z1 and z2 because uh, the sum of the two distances should be greater than a b okay so if k is any value more than mod z1 minus z2 then the locus of p is going to be an ellipse okay so we can say that locus of p is an ellipse with with the foci at z1 and z2 okay so locus will be an ellipse with foci at z1 and z2 for the third case